in my introduction, I'll tell you how the Africans were captured. And I'll tell you some of the Africans participated unknowingly. So in 1992, the chiefs, together with the leaderships of Africa, the chiefs of Africa, then together with the Africans, the leadership of Africans around the world, they met in America. And they came out with this one as a form of apology to the international community of the role that some of our ancestors played at that time. So this is from our chiefs. And the words are so, so powerful. So let's be quick so that we can leave the sun. By let's move this way and move to the other side. I swear I've never seen so much white devils in this ho uh, Holocaust dungeons. It's like every time I come, there's more and more of them. In numbers. Now, before I talk about this, this is where we came from. Let me just sightseeing. That is where I said they do the selection. Now the there is a passage starting from that place. Is, we have to do more. Where you see the cannons are arranged. There's a big tunnel underneath, big hole. So those days, when they're ready to go with Africans, they will not bring them outside. They go through this we have graves in the yard, we have one separated from three. This was somebody by name Philip Kweku. Kweku is a Ghanaian name, born on Wednesday. But the Kweku was corrupted into Kwaku because British couldn't pronounce our names properly. So instead of the Kweku, they said Kwaku. Now this man, his father worked with the British. Some of the Africans worked with the Europeans, so his father was one of those people. So because of that, the son Philip was taken to England. There were three boys, Philip, Thomas, and William. When he got to England, the two died. He survived. The British trained him as a school teacher, and they made him a pastor in the Anglican ministry at age 24. He was the first African to be ordained as a priest. He came back to the country, then Gold Coast as a pastor and a teacher preaching in that church. At that same time, some blacks were down suffering for months as captives. He taught some Euro African children. He worked for the British for the whole of his life. He died October 17, 1816, at age 75. So because he worked for them, that was why they buried him. So this is Philip Kweku, who later became Reverend Philip Kwaku. In Cape Coast, there are schools named after him. But when he came, colonial time, he promoted Western education. Mm. But I told you that they used education. So when he came, we promoted education. They sponsored him to do that. That is the education we have now, which to me is not helping us. Let's move this way. Yeah,